on this episode of the VR4. Mitsu Gun? What up, what up? What's going on? So, remember the issue that I was having the, while the car was running real weird? I think I have found the issue. So, I'll have you guys take a look. The issue is that. That is the issue of why the car is hesitating while I'm driving and while the car is running shitty right now. And now I'll show you the upside of what it looks like and where it is. Right there is where that metal part goes into and screws into and the bigger part goes in there I just have to find a screw to that goes in there and screw it in there and that should take care of the problem I'm praying and hope hopefully that will be to take care of the problem so let me go to the park store her really quick and try to screw that in there and hopefully that'll take care of our issue all right so now it's time to start on the back end Take these lugs off, jack up the car, take the wheel off, and then Randy's gonna take off all the other stuff, and then I'm gonna do some more painting, and then you guys are gonna see the transformation of the back end. Okay, so I jacked up the car, now I'm getting ready to take off the tires. All of these lugs right there are loose. Now it's time to take off the tires. So. I'm getting ready to wipe both of these wheels down and then start this frame. And I'll let you guys see what that looks like right about now that both of those are done. Randy's going to come over here tomorrow. He's going to undo the back part, the caliper, the rotor, and everything. Everything. And switch out all of the ball joints and all those. And then, and then I'll take the caliper, paint those, and we'll just be on and moving to the next part and just slap it right back in. And then the back part will be done. So I will let you guys know once I get all this stuff done. These are almost done drying. That one's basically done drying already. This one's done, it's about to start drying right now. And then I have to get the part for that. I think it's just a bolt that I have to get for the top part. I'll get that and hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll fix that issue. So in this part, we are working on the drums and trying to get the, the rotors off first <clears throat> to be able to get to the drums to get to the hub and to replace the hubs with the new hubs that I had gotten. Uh, we were starting off trying to get the caliper off. Well, actually he got the caliper off and then we're working on, he's working on getting the rotor off, which took a couple bangs or whatnot or whatever. We had to go with the curl bar. Um, there were some screws that we had to unscrew out as well that was keeping it in and then <clears throat> he pried the uh, the rotor away from where the brakes were and then we was able to get the rotor off which exposed the drum brakes so we finally got the rotor off now I did a little bit of inspection of the rotor just to see what kind of breaking uh, that I was doing and the other guy was doing uh, before when he had the car and the first time when I had the car before when it was driving and they seemed pretty okay um, didn't really matter anyways because I had brand new ones anyways so now Randy's trying to re-familiarize himself with this old technology because they don't use it anymore for these drum brakes 
because it's a, because it is a 91 uh 90s car 91 at that they have a drum brake system where it, it includes these two brakes that pre, uh, that clinch when you put your e-brake on as well it has a lot of springs cables pins nails and stuff that you have to install into the new you know your new drum brake system sometimes they give you new parts sometimes they don't i had to get <laughs> new parts uh, from Napa because they didn't come with the new ones that I ordered so again the new tech this old technology uh, it just blew my mind but getting past that he had gotten the uh, the drum brakes off and now he's just working on getting the rest of the springs and other components that are around and in the drum brake system out so we can change them and install new parts and everything for the new for the new parts that we had gotten in all right so now that we have gotten the drum the old drum brakes off randy's just working on the other bolts that we have to do to take off to be able to have access to the hub um, unfortunately, I don't know what the heck I was doing with this. He had to re-familiarize, like I said before, again, how to switch these out. I did my research for these rear hubs and from all the videos and from the descriptions, from one of the descriptions that I had read, once you take the rotor off, the hub should just fall right off with it or, you know, you can use a press to take it out. I guess normally but for this particular one uh, we were kind of challenged to find out how the hub comes off does it come off through you know before what I had saw on um, the other videos how they came off with the rotor or do we have a bolt behind uh, the whole assembly suspension part behind the uh, where the axle goes kind of the behind the behind the hub do we have to undo that big bolt and then the hub comes off those are the kind of questions that we were asking ourselves as to as we were taking each and every bolt off um to to see uh, which which one was it going to be for the hub to fall off um it took a while and uh i think after that uh we just, you know, we called it a night because we needed to figure out, we couldn't figure out what bolt it took to be able for the hub to come out, so. All right, so, while we're waiting for Randy to finish, we have to press those hubs out because it's not, um, he thought we wouldn't need one, but we actually need to press the hub out. So we're going to press those out. But while we are waiting to get a press for that or figure out how to get those out, I have uh, the calipers that I have off and now I can prep them and get them washed and everything for paint. And I got something else in the mail. So I am going to open it figure out what it is give me a second okay oh something purple okay this is the cat can that I ordered. It should go very, very nice with my engine bay. That looks awesome. It's very cold. Let's go here. Go there, put that 
there. We'll be able, barely be able to see it, but it's whatever. Still looks good. Goes with that. <laughs> nice. So we got that to add to the addition. <sighs> Things are coming along, guys. I'm liking the new cash can. soon after the back suspension is complete I can't wait to put this in guys Eston you're gonna have some new sounds boy <laughs> as well I'm going to be starting to paint the back calipers uh, for the rear uh, suspension so uh, I'm gonna be getting this done and uh, I have to get the drum brakes. I forgot those. Those should be coming in tomorrow. Well, actually today because it's it's uh, already about 4 a.m. So uh, finish these, get the drum brakes in. These should be done later on today. And I will let you guys see them when they get done. And when the drum brakes get in, I will open up that package uh, and have you guys see that. What up guys? All right, I'm back at Randy's house. Uh, I had to pick up a couple things. Uh, my drums came in from the mail. I will be, well, we will be putting, taking off the hubs, uh, putting in the new drums, and uh, putting on the new rotors. I'm gonna have to finish the, uh, the calipers and putting everything back together, and we should be done, and I can hopefully start the car once we put that new bolt in from the AC. Without this hub puller, it's too small. So, I'm going back to Harbor Freight and I am going to see what other stuff they got going on because this one's not doing the job. What up, what up, welcome back. So, it is Sunday. I am going to, I had to source out the springs and everything this old technology for my car for 91 it's not really available at o'reilly's or <clears throat> even at like napa or something like that so i got my package in the mail from amazon for my drums and everything and it didn't come with springs so <clears throat> Don't mind that noise. That noise is my ball joint. Uh, I'm waiting for the package to fix all that soon. But anyway, I'm, uh, I didn't come with springs, so I had to source out springs for the drums for the back of the car. So I had to call around two different places, three different places. They didn't have them. 
So then I finally called Napa. Uh, Randy has searched the part and they said they have, have it in their warehouse. So I called their warehouse. They said they had two. I thought that one kit would suffice for two, uh, for two sides for front and back, but definitely not the case. I have to get two kits. So luckily they have two kits left at their warehouse. So I'm on my way now to go get those, uh, those kits. So I will, uh, Snow, the snow, the snow. Buckle up, the snow is on the rise. Tune in next time on the VR4. Mitsu Guy?